Maybe I should try to make my own intro. Uh, that would involve work. Well, that was pretty cool. Anyway, Pokemon Troze for the Nintendo DS. It's basically a puzzle game where you have to group sets of Pokemon. Designed by Genius Sonority, the same guys who brought you Pokemon Colosseum, it's actually a really fun game to play. This game was also released before Diamond and Pearl came out, so if you're wondering why none of the clips have any 4th generation Pokemon or 5th generation as they're probably out right now, uh, yeah, that's why. They just weren't out yet. Anyway, basically, you are this person, and you are in this group of people which really involves you and this random scientist and you go out to stop these people stealing all these Pokemon because they're doing it by keeping them all trapped in their Pokeballs and putting them all in trucks so those big warehouses of Pokeballs and with your magical technology you can apparently zap all the Pokemon out of that place into your research lab where you don't actually explain where you put the Pokemon after that. I don't know, do you keep it for yourself? I don't know. The problem is that your thingy can only work if you have groups of the Pokemon, such as four, uh, because apparently there's not good enough signal to get into a satellite. Is that really a great way to send Pokemon? So on your story mode, you travel between the different levels, which are basically just the same thing, just with different Pokemon and higher numbers of Pokemon. Your objective is to group the number on the top screen, that number of Pokemon, in rows or columns of four, so that you zap them out of the place. After you do that, you'll start up a combo, so you only have to group three in a row or column. After that, you only need to group two together. Doing this will get you a lot of points, and if you reach a target score on each stage, you'll earn some coins which you can use in a special stage later, slight spoiler. I really like the feature of how Ditto counts as a wild card for any Pokemon. You play the game with the stylus and you kinda like drag the rows or columns across or down and stuff uh, to move the Pokemon across, uh, which is a nice way of controlling it. It's also a really simplistic game, it's not really complicated in any way. This can also be a bad thing if you're one of those people who can go all irate just because Pokemon sprites are their heads only. This can also be a bit confusing if you can't tell the difference between two Pokemon. Hoppet and Nidoran male look really similar in colour. It is really challenging though, especially in the boss battle parts. In these stages, the boss attempts to mess you up in every way possible. They put rocks in the place of other Pokemon that can't be comboed, they shove the Pokemon off to the side, and they even black out the entire screen so you can only see the outline of every single Pokemon, which is really hard to tell between them. Career mode aside, there's also an endless mode where you can just constantly group the Pokemon together. There's also some multiplayer modes where you can go co-op with a friend, or you could go competitive against them. Besides that though, there's not really that much to the game, it's just a real simple experience. It's a very addicting game though, and you'll surely be playing on the endless mode for a bit of time. However, if you're just looking at the game, the graphics aren't actually the most spectacular thing you've ever seen. The music however is really awesome. Overall, Pokemon Troze is a really fun game to play. It's addicting, it's challenging, and it really appeals to kids who like Pokemon. So I'm going to recommend this game if you're a puzzle fan or a Pokemon fan, because it's a really fun game to play. And if you're a Pokemon fan like me, you'll be pleased to hear that there's a Pokedex in this game, so if you want to actually Troze them all, yeah, that you can do that. So if you like puzzle games, get it. If you like Pokemon games, get it. And I'll see you guys next time.